So to perform spinal segmentation in the quadruped position, you're gonna make sure that your wrists are right in line with your shoulders, your knees are going to be right in line with your hips. In this demonstration, I specifically started from my low back. So I'm trying to move one vertebrae at a time, starting from low and making a wave all the way up my spine the best I can with control. And then I look up towards the ceiling and then I'm gonna reverse. I tuck the chin, I drive my upper spine towards the ceiling. I'm trying to make that wave, follow that down my spine the best I can, tuck the hips underneath me and then reverse it again. Arch my back, tailbone up towards the ceiling, making a wave one vertebrae at a time. Look up towards the ceiling, tuck that chin. While I'm doing this, I'm trying to make a strong fist. I'm trying to squeeze my hamstrings. I'm trying to keep my shoulder blades all in one spot. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm a statue-like figure so that way I can try and move only from the spine the best I can. And the biggest thing is to making sure that I don't fake any spinal extension or flexion by trying to push my shoulder blades around the rib cage like this. So you see that I'm trying not to push and round my shoulder blades. And then when I try and sink up here, I'm trying not to just like bring my two shoulder blades together. So ideally when you're doing this motion that the shoulder blades aren't moving closer or further apart while trying to do the spinal segmentation. So that's the biggest thing that you wanna be thinking about, especially around the shoulder blade area, is that you're not faking spinal motion by getting the shoulder blades involved.